Hello Divas, Diamonds, and Dolls. Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk about happiness and penis envy. Mama Gail received two emails that need immediate attention. They are two separate emails from two separate young ladies, and they were sent. One was sent last week, one was sent a couple of weeks ago, and I hadn't responded to it yet. But these two young ladies, the first young lady wants to know why should I have to make a man happy be soft and sweet and cater to him the second young lady says I am an accomplished educator my husband and I are colleagues we are equal we are partners we have an agreement in our relationship but he shuts down goes to his man cave and the most time we spend together is usually when it's sexual okay let's start with the first email happiness it is never any of our responsibility to make our partners happy gay straight by whatever happiness comes from within we should come with happiness in within us before we enter into a relationship. So if he is looking for you to make him happy, there is something missing in him that he needs to find happiness in himself before he can receive any type of whatever it is that he is looking for you to give him and vice versa. He cannot make you happy and you cannot make him happy. We do things that may make each other happy, but his happiness is not your responsibility and neither is your happiness his responsibility. Now, why should you be soft and sweet? Why should you cater to him? If you are a feminine woman, these are traits, characteristics, attributes of a feminine woman. If you are a masculine, hardcore woman with a masculine man, then of course you are fighting against catering to him and being soft and sweet and things of that nature. You don't have to be soft and sweet. You don't have to cater to him, but you also don't have to have a masculine man. If you are in masculine energy, and this is going to be straight with no chaser, go and get you a feminine man who's going to run to your beck and call and do everything that you need him to do because you need to balance out the masculine and the feminine. And the only way you are going to do that, sweetie, not have to cater to, not have to be soft and sweet, not have to be what the masculine man needs is to get you a feminine man. And I don't mean gay because he does not want what you have. But I mean feminine in the sense of a man who is straight but he's a yes boy. He's a wuss. He's a guy who's the nice guy. Flowing in feminine energy. Ready to run to your beck and call. But anywho, let's go to the educators. Sweetness. You are accomplished. Your husband is your colleague. You feel like he's equal to you. The reason why... He is shutting down because you are feeling like we're equal. I got what he has. He's no better, no greater than I am. He's miserable, especially if he is a masculine man, because you are operating in penis envy, whether you know it or not. And what is penis envy? Sigmund Floyd, um, Freud is his name. He spoke of children, realizing that one has a penis, the boy, and the girl does not. But when women grow up, women, a lot of women, women in masculine energy are just men without a penis. And you have arrived and accomplished, and of course, your accolades are to be celebrated, appreciated, and things of that nature. But being female, being soft and sweet, being feminine, if you are feminine, and I'm, I'm 
just saying, thinking that you are for you to send this question in or you want to be. be. Flowing in masculine energy, your husband is probably miserable because he has you as a colleague coming home to him still in that same aggressive energy, still in that masculine, we're equal, I top you. You may make more money than him or whatever, but he feels like you are a colleague who he left at the office, at the, at the college, the university, wherever you guys work. He feels like you're a partner and you stated that you guys are partners in the relationship. Everything is 50-50. A man likes to give. He likes to be the one who, of course, the woman is the helper, the helpmate. But he doesn't want your help and need your help in the sense of you equaling up to him. And like I said, it's not for you to downplay who you are and what you've accomplished. But you have to learn how to turn on your femininity and flow out of work mode, masculine mode equal mode into soft and sweet listening if there are things going on where the two of you work and he's dealing with chaos at the workplace and he has to come home and deal with you as a colleague and not a wife you are not a pillow a sweet spot a soft spot for him of course he's going into his man cave of course he's shutting down and this video is not just for the two emails that I received, but to each and every one of us. Sometimes women make more money than a man. And what she'll do is hold that over his head, throw it in his face and things of that nature. A man cannot stand that. And it's not so much that he doesn't respect that the woman makes more money. That's not what it's about. But when you become this one up, competitive, masculine Oh, shut up, I make more money than you. Things of that nature. What man wouldn't be turned off by that? In your masculine energy, you have nothing to offer him. He's married to you, but he hides out in his man cave to find serenity and peace because he's not getting it from what should be his serenity and his peace. You are not soft for him. A man will go work on a garbage truck in a, a corporation, things of that nature, and come home to a woman who's soft and sweet and be able to relax and rest because it's not about the money. It's not about them being colleagues. It's not about anything of that nature. It's about him having a safe place a trusting, resting place to come home and relax to, to lay his burdens or whatever the cares of the day down and be able to rest on a soft, sweet, feminine woman flowing in feminine energy who's listening, receiving, laid back, and there for him. Even if she doesn't say a word, not somebody that's competitive. So sweetness, what you have to do is learn how to turn on your feminine energy. Turn, learn how to turn on and tune into and tap into and be creative in what it is that he needs. And it's not just to say that, okay, I'm equal. Why should I be soft and sweet? Why should I cater to him and things of that nature? Why shouldn't you if you want to keep your mate? If you want this masculine man. If you love him. Don't treat him like you are competition. Don't treat him like there's nothing you can do for me. There's nothing you can offer me. One thing about a man. If he has nothing to offer you and nothing to give you when men are natural givers, they love to see you pleasured. How can he pleasure you? 
I can only imagine what the bedroom may be like. Because if you're in masculine energy and he's in masculine energy, it's just a matter of the two of you releasing. The masculine and the masculine together is a rough relationship. And you see a lot of people who are in masculine relationships with a masculine man and a masculine woman. And you know what ends up happening? A lot of chaos and drama and things of that nature. Because the masculine and the masculine is together. Instead of it flowing together, completing, complementing one another. So... It's not your job to bring happiness into a relationship and penis envy is destroying your marriage and your relationship. And you're probably saying, oh, I don't envy the penis. It's a symbolism. Metaphorically, you feel like you're on the same level as him. The only thing like Sigmund Freud said, Freud said you're a woman without a penis you're a man excuse me without a penis and that's what he meant in your masculine energy you can do whatever a man can do and it's nothing wrong with that but you need to be able to keep your man keep him happy bring peace comfort to his life and to him and spice up that bedroom. Don't just lay in play just to release. Learn how to turn him on and turn him out. That is your husband. Turn off that masculine energy, sweetie. Flip on that feminine switch and do your thing. Learn how to transition. This is Femininity with Mama Gail. Have a blessed and prosperous day. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Divas, Diamonds, and Dolls.